Hello to all my friends out there. So I want to talk about the Grand Solar Minimum. And you might be thinking, why should I worry about the Grand Solar Minimum? You know, you're an alarmist. This coming winter is year one. And I posted, uh, I posted an article on my uh, Twitter. I want you guys to try and go to my Twitter. And so what I'm doing is I'm moving my garden indoors, like one or two plants at a time. So far, these two don't seem to be generating many insects. I hope not. Okay, make it enough le um, left a really good comment. See how I uh, have all the good comments written in my uh, notebook? Um I don't go over them every day because um, you can look at the comments. The comments on my channel are really good. Um, and you don't have to agree with me uh, to leave a comment. You can leave your own comment. I like to see other people's opinions. And sometimes I change mine too. Okay, so now instead of buying one or two uh, rolls of paper towels. I'm buying uh, the big one and um, I was in the McDonald's I go to all the time and I forget how the subject came up. She goes, we we clean the bathrooms with paper towels, you know, and then um, throw the paper towels right into the trash. And I thought, you know what? It's not worth spreading germs. Just buy paper towels. I bought these for uh, $3.49. I'm going to be buying these and then, you know, I bought, you know, the big, big package of toilet paper as opposed to four, if you can afford it. Okay, so now, the Grand Solar Minimum is, is supposed to be, you know, winter is just going to be getting progressively colder. So, here is what is expected. Earthquakes, possibly. Now, that's bad for California. Tropical cyclones, volcano, cli climate impacts, increase in tsunamis, stor storm surges. Now, that's bad if you live in the Gulf of Mexico. I have been in some of those storms. No, thank you. Lightning and hail. Okay, I have been in bad lightning storms and, you know, uh, lightning could be bad, and I have been in bad hailstorms where I thought the um, the um, windshield was going to burst, and I'm sure it does sometimes. Okay, so what's so bad about this sort of thing is it makes it hard for them to truck the food to us. Hailstorms, winter storms, tornadoes, wildfires, oh great, that's what we have out of here. Anomalies during El Nino, anomalies during El Ninas. So we're going to have abnormal El Ninos. And El Ninos are bad enough, you know, when they're normal. Preparedness, reinforcement of infrastructure for harsher weather. That means, you know, like more um, insulation. Uh, fortunately, this place is, is pretty good for that. Tectonic events. I'm not sure what that is. Lightning protection of a dwelling. I would say that uh, no big, huge trees that can catch on fire. Uh, concrete reinforced shelter. Then down to here. Longer term food storage preserved for 30 plus years. They have video on that. Uh, TJ Prepper does this. Wheat and rye have already doubled, and they suggest a water fil filter. So what you can do is you can click. On, there's a link at the bottom of the article, and you can click on that link, and you can uh, go to the food storage information, which I will be doing. So now um, I don't have enough money for food as it is. Anxiety. Um, the, the, the grand solar minimum's coming from 11 plus years and, and, you know, the wise thing to do is prepare. What am I going to do? Well, the best thing to do is to prepare a little bit at a time. Something like that. 
you know, just stockpile that. Um, in the day, mostly, you know, at my grandmother and, and be thinking, what did my grandmother do? And try to grow a little food indoors. Okay, last year I was totally unsuccessful. Totally. But I haven't given up. I, I did manage to grow six mini tomatoes. So that was pretty much unsuccessful too. But in the day, they would mostly eat cornbread or uh, homemade bread. I think that's the cheapest thing. Okay, uh, wheat has doubled. So we might be seeing a big increase in wheat foods. And what would the wheat food be? That'd be bread. So it's good to stockpile cornmeal and flour. And they also said rye has um, doubled. Rye is pretty expensive anyway. So the, the prudent thing to do is just to say, okay, if I can find marked down food, you know, and store that, uh, that's really cheap. If I can find, you know, a couple cornbreads, that's going to help me. And so the just try to say, okay, in what way can I exist that is really cheap and get a little bit used to it now? Also, things like this are going to create a little extra oxygen in your environment plus beauty. So, okay, you guys, God bless you now. I mean all, <laughs> please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the, the notification bell, and God bless you all.